I'll call to order this October 26, 2011 meeting of the trustees of the Governor Stoughton Fund. And uh, first, uh, the second item is the approval of the meeting minutes of October the 11th. I'll make a motion, Mr. Chairman, to approve the uh, minutes of the Governor Stoughton uh, Trust Fund meeting Thursday, October 11, 2011. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Unanimous. Uh, next is um, the purchase and sale agreement, Pulte Homes of New England, LLC. And I'd like to um, start by thanking all those that were involved um, the town council, town planner, town administrator, um, the, the great efforts of the Governor Stoughton Land Trust Committee, the efforts of the Governor Stoughton trustees, and uh, very importantly, all the contributions that have been given for the past several years by um, the residents of this town in giving input as to uh, what they felt best should be done with the great wooded lot left in 1701 by William Stoughton to the town of Milton. Um, while the selectmen, uh, as trustees, um, to act as they see fit for the benefit of the poor of the town, and for the past four months, uh, in an attempt to carry out the will of Governor Stoughton, negotiations have been taken place between the trustees and the Pulte of New England LLC. And I'd like to just summarize those for the listening public. We've got a, a, a document that's, I believe, t more than 24 pages in, in length. And basically what the document is saying is that the trustees are entering into an agreement with Pulte um, for, and for the sum of $5 million uh, agreeing to uh, have Pulte build a 23-unit single-family uh, residences under the clustering, Milton Cluster Zoning Bylaw and that access um, to the property would be from Unquity Road. And the um, trustees, a after having accepted Plan C, uh, as enumerated on pages 21 and 22 of the proposal, the trustees are retaining ownership of Parcel 1, which contains four acres where the uh, current uh, animal shelter is located. So that is um, basically what the PNS says in a nutshell, and um, I believe, and no doubt my fellow trustees would probably concur that this agreement is in the best interest of the trust and the town of Milton. And before entertaining a motion, I'd just like to ask um, my two colleagues if they wish to, to comment on, on the PNS. Well, I mean, I, I, I think, uh, if, if I can go. You can go first. Uh, I think, first of all, that uh, I think the chairman is quite correct when he, when he states that, uh, that this is the, the end result, if you will, of a, of a lot of work by a lot of people, uh, especially the committee that you chaired. Um, but I, I don't want to leave out the uh, work done by uh, uh, former trustees, uh, uh, Kathy Fagan, and because this started with uh, Kathy Fagan and Mary McGettrick and myself as, as the trustees. I want to um, uh, point out for kind of uh, special uh, uh, thanks to, uh, to Mary McGettrick, who served as a board of uh, on the Board of Selectmen for 12 years and therefore as a trustee for 12 years, and has helped us uh, throughout the process uh, since we put out the RFP since she's been off the board 
and uh, has helped us uh, to, to forge this document. Well, forging a document, I don't think that's the <laughs> way to put it, but to get this, along with John Flynn, to, uh, to put this document into, into working order and, uh, from our, and to help with the negotiation. So, Marion, we want to really thank you for your efforts. And, um, as we go forward, you know, you're invited back any time as a, yeah. as a kind of a special trustee. Uh, <laughs> we really appreciate it. As a matter of fact, Mr. Shields, um, prior to the meeting, I asked Mrs. McGettrick that if the motion passed, if she'd be willing to stay aboard because the next step would be um, the Attorney General, trying to get the Attorney General's blessing, and uh, no one has more experience in dealing with that than Marion McGettrick and probably town council. So I think you're absolutely right. That would be a right. great team. I think you're absolutely right. So, you know, if you're willing to help us go further, Marion, we'd really appreciate the help. And we, you know, you, you're in private practice now and you didn't have to help us and you certainly did. You put in a ton of hours, so we really, the town really appreciates it. Well, she made so much money from it. Yeah, I know. Being exactly. our consultant <laughs> too. Donut. <laughs> um, so thank you very much. Um, so we, we do have come now after putting it out to bid, accepting um, the appropriate bidder, in my opinion, um, given the circumstances that we had. And, uh, uh, you know, I look forward to, uh, to working with Pulte towards, uh, towards getting this, this project off the ground. And I don't think that we should lose sight of the fact that as trustees, our, um, our goal or, or our job is to uh, benefit the trust as much as we can. I think when we do get the $5 million uh, into the trust account uh, run by the treasurer, um, we'll be able to make plans to increase what we do for the poor of Milton, whether it means outreach. Um, it could mean a lot of things, but we'll have other options um, that have not been available to us as trustees in the past to, to, to fulfill Governor Stoughton's will. And I think that's what we have to, we have to keep in mind all the time. And, and th this, this will give the trust a lot of options in the future, whether the three of us are here at that time or not. Absolutely. So. Yeah, I, I just wanted to say, um, you know, it, this is a great occasion. Um, as you said, John, you know, we're, we're uh, at some point in time going to be putting $5 million in a bank account or in an investment to annuitize to be able to get a good chunk of money to be able to service the, uh, the poor and needy of Milton. Uh, and I think that's a great thing. Um, we've spent so much time on this, it kind of feels like it's the end of the road, but it really is just the beginning of the road yeah. when you think about it. Uh, we still have a long road in front of us of attorney general approval of this, of um, the um, probate court approval, all the permitting, um, and then ultimately the, the construction of, of 23 homes under the cluster zoning um, bylaw, which has never been used in this town. We've, we've had a cluster zoning bylaw for a few years now. I'm not sure how many years, but, but we've never built anything under it. Um, and that's going to be a fascinating process to watch play out. Uh, and hopefully a fruitful one. Um, the concept is, uh, in, in my opinion, great. It maximizes open space, um, and you know that's certainly a, an area where you know open space can actually be beautiful. Uh, you know, going through there to have walking trails and, and that type of thing. Uh, I'm really looking forward to it. I think the public should know that the three of us, as trustees. Uh, with John Flynn, our town council, with Mary McGettrick, and Kevin Mern, and, and the staff here in the selectman's office, it was Kevin and John and Marion that negotiated this document. But we've been over every line uh, in executive session in the last few weeks, and as things have changed, you know, in the in the negotiations of this document, um, we've been apprised all along. But we have gone over every line. Um, Several of times. this 24-page document. You, you, see, yeah. you did a great job synopsizing the thing oh. into 30 seconds, but it's been... I'm, I'm pleased that, you know, during the negotiations, there were times when I wasn't pleased because I felt that it was getting away from the plan that was approved. But I'm pleased that this document is the agreement between the parties of what was voted on June 27th. Mm -hmm. um, Pulte Plan C... Uh, pages 21 and 22, I think the document uh, is uh, close to, to mat matching that. Mm -hmm. so. 
it seems like we have agreement. Well, with that, I'd make a motion, Mr. Chairman, to uh, approve and sign a purchase and sale agreement with Pulte Homes of New England, LLC, for the sale of a portion of the Governor Stoughton property. I'll second that motion. Um, further discussion? Um, is, does Town Council, uh, Mrs. McGettrick, wish to make any comments? I don't, Mr. Chairman. Does, in the audience is Mark Camo from Pulte, Mark Johnson, uh, legal counsel for, for Pulte, and then also Reed Blue. Um, would any of you uh, want to comment prior to the vote? Or? No, certainly, Mr. Chairman. Uh, for the record, my name is Reed Blue. And oh, thank you. <clears throat> and um, I represent Pulte Homes, and also, as you mentioned with me, is uh, Mark Camo here this evening, who was instrumental from the beginning of the uh, RFP process, and then our, our legal counsel, Mark Johnson of Johnson and Bornstein. And uh, we have worked, Mark Camo, myself, and Mark Johnson. Let me interrupt you for a minute. Could you talk probably closer to the mic, because sure. it's on TV, and I don't know if the voice carries that. How's this? Is this better? better yeah. OK. It's more comfortable, too. <laughs> this I is get to sit down. They're watching yeah. this in California. <laughs> yeah. 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 This, is, this is competing with ABC News. Yeah. Right. But I don't want to take up a lot of the board's time. This is time. bigger than Gaddafi. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I appreciate uh, you giving us the opportunity just to, uh, to say hello. And actually, um, Mr. Camo, Mr. Johnson, and myself have worked together with Pulte for uh, between 10 and 15 years together. And um, this is one of our, what we, what we believe will be a keystone community that um, we personally are uh, involved in uh, hopefully the, the future development of, of course, contingent upon the approvals that you mentioned uh, previously, Mr. Hurley. And we're looking forward to it. The company is looking forward to it. And we have a, a great deal of, um, of pleasure and pride that uh, we were selected. And we look forward to uh, a very um, cooperative venture here going forward. As you mentioned, Mr. Hurley, it is the beginning of the process in many ways. Uh, although it's the it's a milestone in uh, along the road having the purchase and sale agreement uh, executed by both parties that lays the groundwork for what we do next and uh, there are a number of more milestones that we have to touch but we're confident that we'll be able to do that uh, we've had a, a very um, a, a business like and sometimes even though we didn't always see and understand the same way our relationship thus far um, with the representatives of the town, Mr. Flynn, Mrs. McKettrick, and uh, Mr. Mern, uh, has always been very professional and cooperative. And uh, even though we had some disagreements and little difference of perspective along the way thus far, uh, we were able to, um, to come to a meeting of the minds that I think ultimately is to the best uh, benefit of both parties. And I uh, you know, truly believe that that will continue on through the the uh, remaining of the approvals process. And, and ultimately, our goal, of course, as you mentioned, is to uh, build the new homes and to have uh, new citizens and new families living in town, you know, probably many of which already live in town, and they're just going to move into a new home here at the, at the Governor Stoughton property. So I just wanted to um, convey our, our thoughts, our, um, our, our thanks, really, in uh, working with the folks that we've had a chance to work with thus far, and also um, to let you know that um, our company is, is um, sees us very much as a as a keystone in our um, community building going forward. So thank you for the opportunity. You're most thank welcome. You. What you said really has some resonance. W w what will happen is once your homes, what we found in the past is once we have newer homes on the market, like your development. Um, you're right. Some people will sell their homes in Milton and move there. They, they will be, you know, already have homes in Milton now. But that just opens up more housing stock for younger families in, in their, their older houses. Uh, so, you know, it's a win-win for everybody, I think. So we're very happy that you're here. Great. Thank you very much. Thank you. Any further discussion? Um, all in favor? Aye. 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 Unanimous. Chairman, you take a minute, maybe we can sign them tonight. Have five copies. 
We're out of quilted pens. This is the best I can do. 1701? Well, well, you were, know, we you were probably there when yeah, Governor there. Stoughton yeah. signed yeah. it over to we us. So. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, I knew his father, Israel. Yeah. Buddy of the king. Thanks. It's a done deal. You also get to stick the shovel in the ground too. And First turn of the earth. Yeah. Long way from that, but <laughs> still. It's the unsigned copies. It's an unsigned copy. Is that the last one? Five, yes. Okay, that's it. Congratulations. Motion to adjourn. Mm -hmm. Make a motion to adjourn. Open the meeting of the Board of Selectmen. Board of Selectmen, we get to adjourn the trustees meeting. Uh, I'll make a motion to adjourn the uh, meeting of the trustees of the Governor Stoughton Trust. Second. All in favor? Aye. Unanimous.